Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> it's early morning. I'm going to finish this today. So, what are the damages? There's two things to fix today. First of all, I need to make the last two lanes enter the marble divider a little bit earlier. I overshot yesterday because I stopped looking at my template. Secondly, I need to cut this part off to make a nice joint between the marble lanes and the marble divider. I designed this oversized for that purpose. I'm going to start with finalizing this fit up here with the conveyor belt drop off. I really love how this shape shapes the identity of the machine because it's so busy, right, visually? And then you have just this flow here, a calm wave of marbles who wants to play music. I think it ties it together so much. It's such a huge statement on top here. I love it. So that's a kind of like a secret. You don't see it from the ground and then from the camera angle on top. That was what we did with the original machine as well. Like when you come on top of the machine, it's like a whole other world up here. So when I rotate the lens like this, you can see how this end falls where I want it to fall. And this end comes earlier in the marble divider here, feeding the earlier notes of the vibraphone, helping the fitch there, which has a limited capacity. So if I can shift it over a little bit like that, that will be great. So this part is 90 degrees. I want to give it a slight angle like this. Okay, this fit is great actually. I managed to get it really tight. So the gap between here is minimal, but it still clears. And I managed to tilt it over so we can enter the marble divider at a better spot. One glaring thing. This mounting points should have been much further away. They are way too close to the marble action. When I designed this from first principles, one of my ideas was to reuse as much as possible as before. I should have done a new mounting bracket. That would have been a very small job to weld on a wider mounting bracket, allowing me to place these mounting holes much more to the side because we have the place. So that would allow me to move out these mounting holes away from the marble action. So now you can see this wall becomes too thin and starts to crack. So I'm just showing off all my scars and mistakes here. I'm going to leave it like this. It's actually not going to cause any issues. Here they come. Filming on top of the machine is like doing parkour. <laughs> I'm just climbing around on stuff on the work table, having the camera there, trying to hang things in the ceiling. I have great news. In yesterday's video, I talked about that I made this part too long and I didn't understand how I could do that. But yesterday I forgot that I'm actually planning to cut this off here. So if, if I cut five centimeters off, what happens to the length? This whole part disappears. <laughs> so now when I looked at it, I think I actually nailed it. So this part goes on here, and then I'm going to connect the lanes to this part. So now I'm going to start to trim. I can already see that this can go. It already fits. Perfect. This angle is 45 degrees in CAD. Let's check. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> okay, cred, cred, cred for this precision. Cheap clamps. Gotta love them. Hey. This 3M mask, Alex bought it for me. It's wonderful. <laughs> Just a tip for you all. So I'm gonna follow this line I scribed upstairs and make a 45 degree from there. That should fit. This worked, but it took a lot of time. So I'm gonna cut on the CNC instead.
it's easy to get a 45 degree. For every cut, I'm gonna move out two millimeters and down two millimeters. So it's gonna be a perfect stair of cuts, 45 degrees. I'm like the Bob Ross of plywood, you know? Making a beautiful picture and then taking a big brush, making a big black field in the middle of the landscape. And you're like, what is this? How is this going to turn out? And it turns out it's an awesome tree. The Bob Ross of plywood. This is turning out amazing. And it was totally false alarm about the length yesterday. I remember now I just pulled them out in CAD to have more than I needed. So I don't know what I was on about because this lane is ending up exactly where I want it. And look at this integration here, how the marble kind of goes over the edge here. So smooth. <laughs> Down here the fit is good, but up here I would like these to go in a little bit. So I need to remove more material here on the CNC machine. Check this out. I have connected the part to the square part after a lot of iterations. So you can see how it looks from the back there. And I've sanded away all the sharp corners because remember no brittle parts. So everything has some nice post precision like Frank Howarth or if it was Matthias Vandel called it. Let's assemble this and test, shall we? So as you can see, the last lane is ending up perfectly with the template, exactly as planned. Before, after. 